Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to GIS World channel. Today I would like to talk about a very interesting and popular topic, which is the deep seek. It is an AI software similar to ChatGPT, and we would like to check how the answer and result from deep seek can be used in the QGIS to create the map, to do some analysis for the beginners or professionals without knowing too much about the Python coding or QGIS. Uh, manual steps. So let's start with the first question from DeepSeek. My first question is that I would like to create a map in QGIS. Could you please help me and let's check the result from the DeepSeek. You know, we, we got, for example, how to install the QGIS. This is the official website and some other information, add the data to your map, how to add it. So it means you can just use it for the educational purpose and just following, for example, those steps in the QGIS and learning that. But we would like to go some step further. The second question that I would like to ask from the deep seek is that I would like to see the coordinates of important places in Stuttgart. Could you please provide a Python code that I can run it in my Python console to see the result in the QGIS? So let's see the result from the deep seek. You know, the answer is there certainly. And we would like to just copy paste this script into our Python console in the QGIS and to check the result. Just waiting some seconds, the result will be done from the deep seek. And after that, you know, it's also written how to run the code, open QGIS, go to plugin Python console and copy paste the script above into the Python console. If I just copy and let's jump to our QGIS desktop. And if I just come here, plugin, Python console, and after that, the new page here. And if I just copy paste, let's see the result. Oh, that's amazing. We have the important places uh, already in our uh, QGIS desktop. So let's go again to our DeepSeek and continuing with the, some other requests. For example, we would like to have the base map into our code. And if I just ask in this script, could you include a base map for the context? And after that, let's see the result from the deep seek will be updated. You know, updated Python script with the base map. We will be waiting for the result. So it means if you would like to do such a step by yourself, you need a really strong background in the PyQGIS Python programming. So it means with the, such a uh, AI, software with the deep seek you can do those steps very fast and accurate and again if i just go to the qgis again and let me just remove this layer also and if i just copy paste again here run the code and yes you see the result in qgis with the base map added into our uh, you know layer panel and we have also our important uh, uh, places in the stuttgart and it's already added so let's go again to deep seek and we would like to continue with a, a second or a next question so please let me just uh, do this question for you please set the coordinate system to WGS84 in the code, define the nice pleasing symbols and add labels with the name of each places. So let's see the result from the deep seek certainly and let's update the Python script. So we will be waiting because we have the more Python lines uh, here and when it's done, we can just make it again, copy paste in our Python console in the QGIS and check the result if it's exactly according to our request or no. So, okay, just waiting, it's not finished yet. As you see, it says it, right now I think it's over even 100 uh, lines. And if I just make a copy and go into the uh, QGIS again, I don't want to keep it because we would like to see how is the updated one. If I just copy paste here, 
run the code that's great it's it's added with the name of each places and then with the new you know nice symbol of each and also the coordinate system has been assigned that's great let's jump to the next question and after that or, the, or next or last question so let's check it it's more complicated request in the code draw lines between the points as you see these uh, those um, uh, important places in the stuttgart calculate the distances between them and add the footprint of the stuttgart main train station in the code as well so let's see how is the result exactly to achieve your request updated python script let's check the result in this way and hopefully uh, definitely it takes even more seconds in this way and uh, because we have right now more requests you know uh, drawing the lines calculate the distances and also adding footprints from the stuttgart main train station so it means if we just imagine we don't have any idea how to add such information DeepSeek will help us by you know integ integration in QGIS and creating such a request and such a map inside the QGIS you see it takes uh, more seconds to compare other requests and even uh, you see here create a polygon layer footprint of the Stuttgart you know train station footprint as you see there X and Y and the result okay at the base map let's check it yeah it's it's done and if i just copy the code going to the qgis and again remove this code and those layer and just copy paste as you see it's around 176 lines and if we run the code let's see the result that's from my point of view is amazing because we have each uh, places Porsche Museum Stuttgart Zoo Stuttgart Central Station it's already you know we have the lines within each point as you see and also it's added uh, Stuttgart Central Station as a polygon and if you see here lines between the places important places in Stuttgart train station footprint and let's see if we have the distances in the line between places or no if I just open the attribute table and if I just bring it here you see the distances distance one uh, two three six kilometer nine kilometer six kilometer three kilometers so whatever we ask them ask uh, deep seek is already done so it means even each single step like a, uh, you know find the distance you must do you know some kind of you know code inside or some manual step inside the qgis and if you don't have any experience you need to spend a lot of time to find it out yeah it was the you know usage of the deep seek or some some other uh, ai software that you can use to learn or do some some process without knowing uh, too much about the QGIS or Python programming. I hope you enjoy from this video and if you have any recommendation or if you have any question please write it down in the comment section and we will answer your question as soon as possible. Thank you very much and bye.